Definitely fireworks at today's Chicago City Council meeting. Good afternoon. I'm Sally Schulze. And I'm Corey McFerrin in for Anthony. That meeting was forced to adjourn early. Let's get to Natalie Baumke right now, who has the developments. Natalie. The vote to rename Lakeshore Drive was tabled and pushed to Friday after Alderman refused to approve the mayor's pick for corporate council. Madam President, we cannot adjourn this meeting because of, according to our rules of order, according to our rules and regulations, there were several Rule 41s that were posted that have to be addressed at this meeting. Standing up and yelling without seeking recognition is not something that's appropriate. We are going to, we're going to, we're going to Alderman Harris. This fight revolves around the botched Chicago police raid of Anjanette Young's home. She was left standing naked and handcuffed when police got the wrong home. This is video of that incident. Last week, the mayor's pick for corporate counsel, who she was looking to get approved today, filed a motion to dismiss Young's lawsuit against the city. The city reportedly wanted to settle for $1 million, but Young's lawyers viewed the offer as too low. And what you're looking at here are photos. Alderwoman Jeanette Taylor met the mayor at the back of the council chamber and some heated words were exchanged. The mayor released a statement after the council meeting saying in part today a small group of aldermen brazenly created a spectacle. She went on to blame the aldermen for preventing votes on actions that would provide relief to hotel workers. The council did approve the first black woman to serve as Chicago Fire Commissioner Annette Nance Holt.